Hi guys, here's a quick tutorial of uh, some audio tricks I'd like to use in uh, Final Cut Pro. At this point, uh, it's when clips are very close together, I always use the faders on the, the sides here. You can drag them, you can see how your mouse change, and then you can kind of eliminate the bump you can hear in the sound when it's too close together. Sometimes when you cut up audio, it, it's going to make like a clicking sound. It's not that loud, but you will hear it. Um, but instead of doing that on every clip, you have like loads of clip. It's it's not easy doing it that way. So what I'll do, I'll just undo this, what I just did. And you can go to modify, adjust volume, and you can say apply fades. And it's actually just going to give you some fades uh, on both sides of the audio, which is right really cool when you have a lot of clips you need to edit. So, um, but if you don't like the duration uh, as a default, it's actually... Uh, 0.5 seconds, but if you want to adjust um, the length of the, the standard default duration, you'll just go to preferences under editing and then default fade duration. You can change that. I like to use 0.3. Also, a nice thing when you've done that and you like the way it fades and you want to put some effects on it, I put an effect on it called limiter and I did some adjustments on that. Um, plus 10, 2.0, and 230, and then minus 3. This kind of works for my voice, whatever I do, basically. And I actually don't put anything extra in volume, depending on how you recorded the sound. And uh, when you end up like having a situation like the, with the pan and you have the limiter, I want to put it on all my audio clips. You can save the pre uh, effects preset here. And remember to tick off pan and stretch to fit. So um, you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it test for you guys. You know? And I can just save that. And I have it over here in my audio already in my effects panel. I click this and you, you get that inside here. That's where I saved it. So I can actually save all my clips. Right now I have already applied it to this, but let's just pretend we I didn't do that. So it's just, instead of dragging it over one clip at a time, it's way easier just double clicking it and you can see what it did to the sound. Try to redo it and undo it and you can see it does quite a lot. It doesn't change the existing pan. So if I already did a, uh, sorry, a fading, if I already did a fade, then it won't change that. So it's kind of nice to know, I think. So I hope you can use this tip, and if uh, you can, please make sure to subscribe or like this video, and um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, good luck.